building character on and off the court. A local community-based program is helping keep young men out of prison by bringing them together on the basketball court. Our Matthew Fultz tells us what inspired the program and the precautions they're taking during the pandemic. On Richmond's south side, you'll find strangers coming together for one common love, basketball. Well, we're trying to get a win, trying to get a championship. Just ask Ed Green. He's been coming out to compete in the RVA League for Safer Streets. Let's go, let's go, all the way, all the way. For the last four years. Every year, man, every year, and I love it, man. He's one of dozens of players who are part of the community-based program created in 2017 by two former inmates who wanted to find a way to keep other young men out of prison. We wanted to reach a population that was, some would say, not reachable. Robert Moore serves as commissioner. Who you got? Somebody got to come up. He says most of the players are from low-income neighborhoods. If we could run it all year round, it, it, we would. Start thinking about positive outlets for whatever types of stresses that you're dealing with. Before each all game, players must go through a workshop on but building same, character. Tell you one of the most important things that makes it work is the relationships that y'all are building with each other, bro. The league is also following CDC guidelines and requires every player, staff member, and visitor to get rapid COVID testing before playing. None of us want to get sick, you know, so we, we follow our guidelines. Most of our guys wouldn't have been tested. It's coming out. They, they wouldn't have been tested if it wasn't for this. They don't go where the testing is done. And it's something Green hopes continues for years down the road. They uh, help you get jobs, and it's the only free league around in the city. So it was like, why not be a part of that? And if I can help somebody in the midst of doing it, it's great. Now Morris tells us that they still have plenty of more games left for this season of the league. And if you would like to learn more about the league, we'll have more information on our website at WTVR.com. Working for you here in Richmond, I'm Matthew Foltz, CBS 6 News.